rice are comparing two different quantities. The common use of rice is speed. Let's say speed of a car is measuring in kilometers per hour. It's actually comparing the distance travel and the time taken to reach a place. This one here is cents per minute. It's actually comparing the cost and the time. Um, cost per bag, this one here, and cents per milliliters. So which means um, it's comparing the cost and the volume. Okay, let's do a few examples here. This one here, okay, two, any two for five dollars. So I want to write in um, dollar per bag. So we know that is five dollars um, for every two bags. So five dollars for every two bags. And then we want per bag, okay? The way to go about this is you can, um, you can do this. You can also write five dollars equal two bags. Then you want one bag, right? Per bag. You want one bag only. I write full here. One bag. So from here to here, okay, you divide by two. Correct? Because you divide by two here to get one. So I must divide by two here. So which is 2.5. Because it's money, we say $2.50. So that means is $2.50 per bag. That's all. So otherwise, just go write this right first, and then you go 5 divided by 2. We call simplifying rights as well. This one here, $2.95 for every 200 grams, and then we want cents per gram. Okay? So what I do, I know that it's 269 cents for 200 grams. And I want one gram, okay, per gram in one gram. From here to here, I divide by 200. So therefore, I must divide by 200 here as well. 200. So put that in a calculator, I get 1.345 cents. Because it's money, so I ran up to two decimal places. So 1.34, but before I write 34, 5 there, so it should be 1.35 cents. So the answer is 1.35 cents per gram. Otherwise, okay, you can do this this way as well. So just write, first of all, you can just write 269 cents per 200 grams. Then just divide by 200. Okay, so that's a quick way. So three, five cent per gram. Either way. Okay, so, but personally, I like to do this one because it's easy to understand. Whereas this, this technique here, it just, you calculate and just sort it out. Pick one you like. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So this one here, 16 packs for five dollars and 95 cents. And we want to convert to cents per pack. So if we go, we, I'm going to write it down. So which is 16 pack. Okay. Sorry, 16 pack is equal to 599 cents. And I want one pack. Okay, one pack. So from here to here, I divide by 16. So therefore, on the right hand side, I also divide by 16. Just remember, whatever I do on the left, I do the same thing on the right, okay? So which is 599 divided by 16, which give me, okay, 37.44 cents. So that means 37.44 cents per pack. That's that's it's the simplest right, okay? So next one. Similarly, okay, two two dollars and seventy five seventy nine cents. So two dollars seventy nine, so just two hundred and seventy nine cents is equal to two hundred bags. I mean two hundred grams. And I want to write in one gram because they they one cent per gram. So it's just divided by two hundred. On the right, 
So I can write 1 gram. This also divided by 200. So which give me 1.40 cents. So this means that I get 1.40 cent per gram. That's the answer. Let's move on this one here. So we have two, um, two different uh, volumes okay, and then different price. So we, we need to work out uh, which one is cheaper. To do this, we need to write out the simplest rights. Okay, so then we can compare. So let's do the first one first. So this one here is actually 180 grams. Okay, it costs $2.80. So I write in the simplest, right? So let's see. So 100, let's say work out 280 cents per 180 grams. Sorry, just rewrite it first. So 180 grams. So I want to work out per gram so I can compare. So I divide by 180 and I divide by 180. 280 divided by 180. Okay, equal 1.56 cents. So this one here is 1.56 cents per gram. Let's look at this one here. 425 grams is cost $4.50. Same thing, so I convert to simplest rates first. So 450 cents, it give me 425 grams. So I divide by, I just use calculator, 450 divided by 425. So this give me 1 gram. And this give me 450 divided by 425, which give me 1.06 cents. So therefore, okay, this one is cheaper by. Because this only costs 1.6 cents per gram. And where is this one here? Cost 1.56 grams per gram. I mean 1.56 cents per gram. Let's look at this one here. Same thing. Okay, 24 cans, it costs $18.60. Whereas this one here, 10 cans, okay, or either one of those, 10 cans, it costs $6.90. So I either buy 24 Packed or 10 packs, so I need to work out which one cheaper. So again, we write in the simplest rights form and you can compare. At the moment, by looking at it, um, I can't really tell, right? So what I do, I go, I can do just write in rights. So 100, let's say convert to cents, um, easier or depend, whichever one you like. You, you don't have to, but it's good to convert into cents because I a dollar eighty cent divided by twenty four, it give you a small number. So better to convert to cents first. So eight hundred, I mean one one thousand eight hundred and sixty cents per twenty four cans. Now I just go one thousand eight hundred and sixty divided by twenty four. So this one give me seventy seven point five cents per can. Whereas this one here, six dollars and ninety cents, which is six hundred and ninety cents per ten cans. So I divide by ten. This divide by ten. So sixty nine cents per can. So therefore, buy a pack of ten cans is cheaper. So this is cheaper buy. So I would go for this this one here now look like the last question here so same item okay same brand same cut of oil but they're different volume and of course it's different price so if you look at the first one here six liters okay and cost you forty five dollars where this one here ten liters it costs you a hundred and three dollars and ninety nine cents so obviously you can compare so which one is the best deal so obviously by looking at the first one 
um, you can see clearly it, it's cheaper. So you don't have to convert to unit, say a simplest unit um, in rice. The best way to do this is $45, right? So let's say I can just double it so you can see clearly. So six liters, it give me $45. So if I double this, it's 12 liters. And I double on the right, of course, it give me $90. There you go. So 12 liters is only cost me $90. Whereas 10 liters on here, okay, 10 liters here is cost me $103.99. So obviously this is better deal. So you can do this way as well. So you can do whichever way. Otherwise, okay, you can write in rights. Okay, I try, I write rights. Okay, so you don't have to follow this. Sometimes a question like this, you can just quickly um, and do it and get the answer. But when you convert simplest rice, it always works. So let's do it. So I write $45 per 6 liters. I divide by 6. I just use calculator. 45 divided by 6 is 7.5. Five with but money, which is seven dollars and fifty cents, two decimal place per liter. Where's this one here? A hundred and three dollars and ninety nine cents. It cost me ten. I mean, cost me that much, and then for every ten liters. So I divide by ten. So which is ten point three nine nine. But because it's money, so I would try ten point four zero. So which is ten dollars and forty cents per liter. So obviously this is better deal. Thank you so much for watching my videos.